Okay, this is a short file on how to take our VADN application which runs on our localhost and to deploy it out to our Azure service. So here I have an example application which I have built. It connects to a database and it displays um, details about customers from that database. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to check it on localhost. So I need to go into the correct folder where my POM XML is. Once I can see the POM XML in my directory structure, I'm going to run Jetty Run and let that start. And that will work through each setup it needs for creating the executable to run on my localhost. What is worth noting here is this is this is an alternative to the FTP transfer. The FTP transfer does not work on a Mac through Finder and through Windows Explorer. It works but it's a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. So what we're attempting to do here is to use a different service that's built into Azure. That's not continuous deployment, but is a much smoother transition to deploy content over. So I can see now that my Jetty server has started. So I'm going to open up my browser. I'm going to go to my localhost. And I can see here that has brought up the IP address. I can fix that in a moment. Let's go into my portal and let's go with our database for class once this loads up. Okay, so DB for class 2, is that the issue we have with? Can I open a server here? Let me just double check the code for where I'm looking for. So there, as we mentioned with the database object is class database. As you mentioned, we're building the database content in the class. Uh, there are three things you need to do to make sure that we have access. We have our connection strings, we have our JDBC driver, but also what we need to make sure, and this is only effective when we're out running our local host deployment before we upload it to Azure, is you need to make sure that the IP address of our local host is also, or the IP address of our local machine is also accepted by system so now if I run it now I can see the content so that's that's the desired output I have from my system I'm absolutely fine with that and um, so what I want to do is I want to get this onto a web app so now that I know that it runs a local host I'm going to my Azure portal I'm going to go to create resource that's going to ask me what I want I want a web application I'm going to give it a unique name, so demo for video. I'm going to create a new resource group for me, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to leave a Windows option, if there is a Windows option. I'm going to leave it published code and leave my plan as the North European plan. And I'm going to create. And this will run in the background for a couple of moments. And validation is successful. And now it's deploying. And that will work for a couple of minutes. So while that's working, I just want to show you the steps that we can do to prepare our content. If I were to open up the target file now, I can see that I have got lots of folders in here, but I have not got my wire file. So I need to create that. So I'm going to right click underneath the Maven project heading. I'm going to right click here. And I'm going to go clean. I'm going to wait for that to finish. And this one's pretty quick. And then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to go install. And this is just getting everything prepared. It'll construct our wire file for us. It'll remove any unnecessary or unused resources and make sure that we have a, a minimally sized wire file for upload. Okay. I can see now that I click on my options here. Deployment successful. So demo for video is successful. Let's go to it. I need to configure this web application now. This web application is built for a very generic 
web application, so I need to configure it to allow a little more content here. So I'm going to go down in my overview here. I'm going to scroll down to where are we? Oh, this is my resource group. Sorry, I should be into the demo for video application. So I'm in my application now and I can see because it's called an app service, which I was in the resource group last time. And I'm looking here not under the deployment settings, but in their application settings. I'm going to click here and this is going to allow me to configure this for Java. So I'm going to click on my Java version. Let me just shrink this down to make it more visible. Uh, click on my Java version and pick version 8. I can leave the minor version to be whatever it is. And for my web container, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm picking 9.3, the newest jetty that they have at the very bottom. Not 9.1 newest, but 9.3 newest. Because there is a, a difference, we're building our code at 9.3, so we want to make sure we're matching with that. Um, and that's all I need to do there. So I'm going to click Save. And if I were to go up to the top here and go back to my overview, if I were to click on this application here, demo for video, when it loads up, it'll tell me that I have an empty Java application ready to go. Okay, which is great, but that's not the application I want there. So, let me go back. I can see here that the build success happened for my clean, and if I were to go back in now into my target folder, uh, if I go into my target folder, I can see that I have this file here, the WAR file. And if I have a look at my desktop, which is where I've held this folder, inside test example, <coughs> inside test example, inside target, I can see I have this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this file to root, all capitals, dot WAR. Now this is important that you rename this file to root dot WAR. I am going to go back to my portal. Okay, so I'm back in the Azure portal. In my app service, I'm going to scroll down past deployment, past settings, past service plans to development tools, and I'm going to click on advanced tools. This is opening up the Kudu build service, and I'm going to click on go here. Okay, so this is going to open up a new tab for me or a new window that will tell me that we have this um, up and running. It'll take a moment to open one. So here we can see information about my um, about the server that I'm running, but we don't need that at the moment. What I do want is I want to go to my debug console and then into CMD. And what this is going to give me is it'll give me a folder layout here, but also a text, a command line layout here. But for me, I only need this. I'm going to go here into site. In site, I'm going to go to www root. And then I'm going to go into the web apps folder. If you do not see a web apps folder, it's because you skipped the previous step inside our portal of configuring this for Java. So you need to go back to your options, configure it for Java in the application settings, and then restart this um, environment here, the Kudu environment, to get to be visible for it. Now I'm going to go into my web applications. Oh, sorry. And I can see I've got a root folder here, and that's all. And this is where I want to be. I want to be inside web apps. That's important. I'm going to push this screen over to the side. And so I can see my root WAR file here and my location on my server here. This is where we deploy our WAR files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to drag across, and I'm going to let go. And it adds my file to my server. And that's it. That's all we need to do here. We give this a couple of minutes, or a couple of seconds, and we go and we refresh. We can see now we see this directory. And we give it a couple more seconds and we refresh again. Okay, that's not working. So if you get this where you get the directory, but we don't get the actual application, I'm going to shut down this window here. I'm going to go back to my Azure portal. Let's open up the full screen again. I'm going to go into my overview and I'm going to just click on this again. Okay, so I'm still getting that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop and then I'm going to start. 
just to make sure we're starting the most recent version of the application. And when I've done that, I'm then going to go in here and say 503. That's fine. Give it another moment. You see, it's taking longer to load now. But we're getting this. Okay, so you can see it loaded up the same app. And we can see here this is a live website. I still have my local host here, which is localhost, but I have my live website. So what we've done is we've used inside our app service, we've gone down to our advanced tools inside development tools, which has allowed us into our diagnostic console and kudu. We've gone to debug and we've gone to CMD, which brings me into this location here. And I have gone into the web apps folder, which if I go back to the start, it's gone site www.root web apps and this is the file that I uploaded. You can see that this is uploaded here at 143.34 which is two minutes ago which is roughly when I did it. This should make the transfer of your exam file very smooth to get onto Azure and live. There will be another video later on showing how to create and configure a database server and database and how to connect our application to it. Thank you very much.